Hey, remember me? It's been a while. Um, okay, so first things first, this little thing. Um, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Uh, yesterday, before I went to leave for my uh, my soccer game, um, I don't know. There's like this weird little bump in my metacarpals, which was like right in this area on this hand, and it wasn't not huge, but it was, just, it was this little bump, and it was really painful. And um, I couldn't really move my hand too much or move my wrist around. It was really really sore. It was almost like carpal tunnel or something. But it was like this weird little bump, and so it's it's gone down. It's gone down since last night. But I just it hurt whenever I move my wrist around. So um, like, and if I try to pronate my hand or anything, it it, it hurts. So uh, this is just isolating it um, for today. So hopefully by tomorrow it's fine. I've taken some painkillers and uh, some naproxen that uh, that I'm able to take with my medication. But um, yeah. Not totally injured, just a little bit injured, um, as always seems to be the case with me. Always some form of injury and pain and something or other. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been quite a while since I've done a vlog. Um, it's definitely been over a month, Christ, maybe two months at this point. Uh, there was there was a port. Yeah, there was there was a. There's a reason. There was a, a reason for it. Um, there was something going on for a while. I, I, I kind of sort of talked about it briefly um, in the last video. Uh, but there's been something kind of going on. I, it's been kind of eating at me, um, which has kind of affected uh, everything that I've been doing for the last two months. Um, so, hi. How do I uh, explain this? Okay, so um, with uh, with my blood pressure medication, and everything, um, doctor wanted to run some blood work on me a few months ago, and when the results from the blood work came back, uh, there seemed to be some potential issue with the function of my kidneys. Um, it was so much of an issue, in fact, that. Uh, I, I had to get um, sent to see a specialist, a nephrologist. Um, now, when my doctor kind of raised this concern with me that there might be something going on with my kidneys, um, I wasn't necessarily shocked um, to learn this. Because um, I've got a, a serious history of drug and alcohol abuse, for sure. Um, Definitely more so with the alcohol, but you know, there's there's been periods that I've used different drugs. Um, so so I you know I, I kind of just accepted that. Well, this is this is my past catching up with me, but um, you know it's also kind of scary because you know if there's issues with the kidneys, that can that can lead to some pretty serious consequences and lifestyle changes, and you know if I have to get on dialysis and stuff like that, you know it could be be pretty detrimental so that's been really weighing on me um, it, it's the first thing that's really kind of I mean aside from like the, the initial blood pressure and all that stuff at first but this has been the first thing that's kind of really like affected me mentally um, with that being said I it's been it's been several weeks since I went to the gym um, that and I've been I started back to work too, so I'll get into that as well. But uh, yeah, it, it it it's just it it affected my my mindset quite a bit. But um, the reason why I'm finally doing one of these vlogs is because yesterday I uh, I got some good news. Um, the the nephrologist had me do some more tests and stuff, and I had to do ultrasounds and all kinds of different things to uh, to kind of see what was going on, um, and after well it was about two months two and a half months of from the initial warning till yesterday um there's nothing wrong so that's good uh it, it looks like when i did one of the blood tests um 
I was a little under the weather at the time, and it it looks like me being sick uh, just affected some function of the kidneys and stuff, and it threw off some numbers. Um, in case I was wondering, I had a uh, a higher level of creatinine than normal in my EGFR, which is um, your filtration rate. My filtration rate was a little low, but the the nephrologist was a little. You know, a little taken aback by this because um, my historically my everything seemed to be fine, and it was just like a bit of an anomaly. Um, and as of the the blood work I did last week, um, everything is as as fine as it was two years ago. So um, all that is is good. Uh, that's good news. Good news. Um, this is sort of the good news uh, episode, I suppose, is what we can call this. Um, other good news, uh, yeah, I started going back to work, um, uh, Christ, I guess, maybe about a month ago now. <laughs> um, so that, that is a big thing that's kind of played a part in me struggling with getting to the gym. Um, so I still do my games on Tuesday, um, and I, I found, I found out the hard way that working out on Tuesdays before I play in the evening, um, is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> because I just I can't move uh, when I when I play um, and I'm I play net but uh, sweating with legs anyways um, so I can't do Tuesdays and then uh, when I work you know I'm looking at between 14 15 16 hours a day um, on my feet all day um, and when I wake up in the morning um, I, I tend to have to take a, a day off from work, which is a, a, a fortunate thing that I can do with uh, with my my line of work because I'm technically self-employed um, with the, the union. So, um, yeah, I uh, when I wake up the next day, I have trouble walking. I'm um, in a lot of pain still. Um, obviously, the more weight I lose, um, the better that will get. And, you know, I'll be able to survive more, but it just it, right now it's just it's been it's been really tricky with with my schedule of getting back to work and with trying to keep my Tuesdays available for playing um, to uh, to go to the gym. Uh, but I, I'm I'm I've got like another weird week ahead of me, uh, but I'm hoping by the first of August I can get a better routine kind of worked out and everything. Um, and be back at the gym. Uh, my food, for the most part, has been good. Um, I haven't been 100% eating keto um, for a bit, uh, but that's not saying that I, I've completely reverted and done a 180 and, you know, I'm eating carbs all the time and stuff. Um, but, like, for, for breakfast, which tends to be the most consistent thing that I eat, though, is, um, you know, I, I still have bacon and eggs but I've been eating it in a like a whole wheat wrap so I have like a breakfast wrap um it, even like on set that tends to be the the food that gets passed around is that you know some form of some form of wrap um so it's it's a bit of sacrifice on that end I'm not getting into ketosis I I yeah I'm definitely not getting into ketosis but I'm also not you know I'm not chowing down on tons of carbs and stuff I'm just uh you know, just a little bit of stuff there. Uh, but still, you know, I do focus on eating, um, you know, my fats and proteins and stuff. But, um, yeah, yeah, you know. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that part's not super good news. It's good news that I'm back to work, but not super good news that uh, diet and exercise are not 100% right now. But I need to get them back, and I will. Um, the other... The other bit of news um, that's been something that we've been, my wife and I have uh, kind of, for the most part, kept to ourselves, and um, sorry, I actually just got distracted by myself there. <laughs> I was playing with a USB key. Um, it's just you know some stuff that we've kind of been keeping to ourselves, and um, today was a. Uh, Today we, we, we heard back that we got approved for um, for an apartment. We're actually, we're moving to Kitchener. 
Um, right now we live in Scarborough, uh, but we're gonna move to Kitchener. Uh, we're looking to we're looking to eventually buy a place in Kitchener Waterloo area. Um, so we're just we're gonna relocate for now. Um, so as of September first, we're we're moving there, which is exciting. Um, you know we've we've been appreciative of uh, been able to stay here for the last few months. Well, you know we were able to take care of what needs to be taken care of uh, get my health under control and all that stuff but it is time we um, time we move into our own place again and uh, yeah so we're we're moving in September and it'll be good it's uh, for me um, it's not that bad because when I go to when I go to work it's really early in the morning and from Kitchener to any of the studios in Toronto, I'm looking at like an hour, hour and ten minutes at the time of day that I would be traveling. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a bit of an adjustment, but I mean, um, some days just driving to where I have my equipment stored, it's 45 minutes from where we live. So um, I, I don't think it's gonna be any, any majorly drastic change uh it adds maybe 20 minutes 30 minutes to what would be my my normal routine of uh commuting so it's not awful and it's it's all highway driving too it's it's less city driving so probably get better gas uh, or fuel efficiency out of my truck so yeah um so that's all all goodies um it's gonna be an exciting uh setting month coming up getting everything in ready um i'm just looking forward to that and the nice thing is which is really nice is the uh, the building where we're living at or we're moving into um they do have a small gym downstairs uh, which you know might come in handy some days but right next door there's a a, a big plaza it's got like a no frills and a bunch of stuff bank and shoppers and all that stuff but uh there's a there's a planet fitness there and it's open 24 7 and uh, Planet Fitness is only ten bucks a month. So um, right now, I right now my Fit for Less membership is only ten bucks a month. Um, so it's not it's going to cost me any extra. So that's nice, and it's it's even more, much more closer to where my current gym is. So that's that's all good, and it'll be nice because right now you know we do share the uh, the mother-in-law's kitchen upstairs and just. Personally, um, it restricts me from doing certain things, but it'll be nice to have our own kitchen um, And finally 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 I know I've, I've talked about it for the last six months or so of um, shooting videos of Recipes and cooking and stuff like that. Um, I'll be able to finally get into that uh, Just because it's really weird um, It's really weird doing it here <laughs> Just because I know my, mo my mother-in-law would be staring at me and laughing at me and be like, what are you doing? Why are you? Uh, she's Filipino, so uh, I don't really know if she if she would really get the idea of why I'm recording myself cooking food. Um, so yeah, it'll it'll be better once we get moved. So come September, uh, they'll be starting to get more videos into uh, making that sort of stuff. And actually, I want to get into a few other things too, like um, uh, I kind of want to get into making kombucha and uh, stuff like that. Um, and I'm also, uh, this weekend I go for my first training session, um, but I'm going to be getting into archery and most likely bow hunting. I know that may, uh, may open up a, uh, Pandora's box of issues with people, um, with hunting, but, uh, I'm looking at looking at it as a, from the point of view of quality of meat, um, self sustainability, uh, because from all <laughs> you know, from all signs right now, it looks like our society is about to go to shit. So I might as well know how to uh, provide for my family once uh, once the planet starts to riot and kill each other. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's only partially true but you know you never know uh but yeah just self-sustainability um you know instead of spending 
instead of spending money on meat from a grocery store, you know, kind of procuring your own meat. Um, it's also you know, not part of some large factory farming sort of operation. It, you know, it's it's regulated um, hunting. Uh, that also, you know, all the, all the fees and stuff that you pay for hunting that goes into conservation, um, and you know, game and wildlife only seem to seem to be the only real people that do anything for conservation um, these days. Anyways, uh, being as our our lovely government has just decided to scrap <sighs> scrap everything that has to do with conservation and green energy and all that fun stuff. But anyways, uh, maybe I'll save a uh, political uh, rant for another day. I don't want this to get too political and too uh, too preachy. Um, but that's uh, yeah, that's that's kind of where I am with with that sort of stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna get get into it. Uh, I've got a friend that bow hunts, and on Saturday I'm gonna go down to to London and um, see if I'm any good at it and get some lessons on how to do it and slowly get better and maybe maybe by the fall I'll go out hunting so we'll see yeah. um, but I, I don't have a lot of stuff prepared for today uh, I just I knew I needed to finally record something um, I've got I, I got a few things I want to go over just as far as body stats and stuff that I haven't shared in a long time um, so yeah, here let's just pull this up. So it's really weird. Uh, when I was when I was recording these stats, so I, I recorded new body stats uh, on January twenty sixth. So that's almost a month ago. Um, and the last time I had recorded them since then was on apparently because I can't find them anywhere else, but January eighteenth. So it was uh, just about five months. Of recording stats so here we go um, the highlights of this so on January 18th uh, I was at 357 and that was down from 369 is what I started at in the beginning of January so I was at 357 on January 18th and then on the 26th of June I was at 329 pounds so I was down 30 pounds at that point overall um, my oh yeah my waist in January was 60 inches and the last measurement was down to 56 so I lost four inches on my waist I'd also lost uh, four inches on my hips and four inches on my thighs um, they're at 50 56 for my hips and 27 for my thighs so I had lost I had lost four inches hips, waist, and thighs, which was nice. Um, so it's progress. It's not super great. It's not, uh, you know, jaw dropping or anything. Um, but it, progress is progress. Um, considering how lackluster I've been for the last little bit. Um, but <clears throat> again, hopefully with, um, this, uh, this scare that was going on, um, with that out of the way, uh, yeah, my my mentality is I feel much clearer uh, today. That's for sure. So uh, yeah, some uh, not a lot of stats, but you know it's it's uh, some good progress. Even the other ones too, like um, yeah, everything else is kind of negligible, just because like arms and calves and stuff like that. Like there's been much of a change. Still the same height. I haven't got any taller. I don't know what's going on there, but yeah. Um, and finally, I know that I have been promising for quite a while to um, to show some footage of uh, me playing net, and I'm going to add that in after this, um, and I'm going to show some footage from when I first started, and then you know some, a couple other games later. Then I even I recorded. Uh, our game last night. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know what this is. I don't know why I'm pointing over here. Maybe I'll. Yeah, I'll let it. Uh, I'll have it. 
coming this way. It'll be like, and here we go. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in watching the, the uh, soccer footy stuff, um, I present it to you now. Okay, yay. All right. Hi, Thor. Thor was in trouble earlier. He's back out now. Okay, so yeah, sorry about the audio earlier. Um, I took my wrap off just to try and give my hand a bit of freedom. But, um, and of course, the fridge starts. <laughs> I, I I had the fans going earlier because uh, it's hot down here, so I'm trying to get some air. But I should have turned it off if I know better. But, uh, yeah, it was, it was really warm earlier, so um, I'll survive for now, though. But this is the uh, the footy section of the video. Um, again, you know, if it doesn't interest you, go ahead, turn it off. If it does interest you, well, you know, a little bit of a treat here. We're going to go over some game footage from a few games I've played. I think I got, like, uh, clips from, like, four, four or five games or something. Not a ton. Maybe about, I don't know, ten minutes or so. Um, so let's just uh, jump on into it, you know. Okay, so... Here we are, the very first, um, very first day of footy, which was back in May, I guess. Was it May or April? I forget now. Um, this is me waddling to my goal. Now, those green boots I got on, those are Lodos. Um, and I'll explain later, but I, uh, <laughs> I didn't know at the time, but they were too big for my feet. Um, that becomes a bit of a problem. Um, gotta love that yellow shirt that I bought. I wanted something, um, I knew we were, gonna, we were gonna be wearing white or black, and so obviously I wanted something to contrast that. I wanted to find a green shirt, uh, but I couldn't find any at the time, and I got, uh, ended up with this yellow bad boy. Um, I was just gonna do a little bit of, a uh, little bit of training warm-up here. Um, just get a couple shots in on me, and, uh... See what I can do. See if I can st stop some stuff. Um, now, mind you, this is the first. This is the first time I'm ever playing goal, um, aside from like one practice in goal for hockey, like over 20 years ago. Um, so I, I, I know about angles and stuff, but I'm just I'm not. I'm not that good of a goalkeeper. <laughs> um, oh look at that! Me a little save, a little saveroo. Um, let's Alex a little shot. See, I see. I, I'm fumbling stuff. I I have no control. Um, <clears throat> those gloves I bought, I ended up buying a pair of gloves that were too small for me. So that was fun. Oh yeah. So this is the first goal I ever conceded. So bad pass for me to my defender. Um, I managed to get a save on that, and then of course they win the header. Um, yeah, 100% my fault. And, you know, I'm getting a talking to from Darren there. He's like, hey, don't be such an idiot next time, uh, you know, out to the wing. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> All right, this here, um, this is my first. Oh, yeah. So, Deeb passes it back to me a little too heavy. Off the inside foot and off the post. <laughs> oh, God. It's actually amazing that we only lost one nothing this game, consider all all things considered. Um, again, a bad kick out for me, and they missed the net. Again, a miracle we only lost this game one nothing. Um, I, I gotta say my distribution and decision making has improved a bit, not great, but a bit. Um, so yeah, you see, we're, we're talking about my my goal kicking, and that one's right off the toe. Um, the, the shoes were too big. The shoes were far too big. Um, I later remedied that with some different shoes. I think by the next week I, I, I picked up some new shoes. Um, that's my first save. My first ever save right there. Big diving save. Got in there. Some good goalkeeping. Good, good goalkeeping right there. See so yeah, how we lost the game 1-0. Um... And then we're moving on to this next game here. And let's see. All right, so this is like uh, the next week. So you see now I got some blue blue Adidas boots on. Got a little touch on that. Probably should let it go, but 
Hey, you know. What are you going to do? I was, I was getting my confidence up. So I, uh, you know, had to get a touch on it. Right there, a little save, a little unorthodox. And my throw is marginally better than the first week. My, my throwing is better now. Um, yeah. Uh, what goes on here? I think I make a save. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I was in love with that one. Both posts, both posts. A little bit of luck. Sometimes need a little bit of luck in life. Um, again, fumbling balls. Uh, Stumble with that. I think I still had my small gloves on at this point. Um, after a couple weeks, I finally got some larger gloves that fit probably. The, the ones. Oh yeah, um, that was a good shot. But yeah, I eventually got some gloves that fit properly that weren't super tight. and I got better control on the ball now. This one was just, um, that one was just pure positioning. Uh, if I if I hadn't have been in the position I was in, uh, you know, he would have eventually, he probably would have scored. But because of the position I was in, um, managed to force him to go around me and uh, lose control of the ball. So that was all good. Um we got here so this is even a few more weeks later and this is the game that uh, my buddy ad blows his achilles tendon yeah well we'll see it so i still got the uh, the the blue adidas boots um actually i am wearing th end up getting three different pairs of boots over the course of the season um first ones were too big second one the adidas just didn't quite fit quite properly um that was just sort of an example of my distribution like I can actually kick a ball a lot longer, a lot further now. Um, at this point, my, my form still isn't the greatest, but I'm able to at least, you know, make better contact and send the ball further. Um, but now I got a pair of New Balance. I absolutely love them. Um, just great responsiveness. They, they just fit my foot a lot better. See that vertical? See that, like, one-inch vertical on that punch? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ah, it's tough when you're 330 pounds, like, jump. And that was a deep, blowing his Achilles over right there. And of course, like, so, deep was a buddy of mine, and, uh, you know, his, his, you couldn't really hear in the video, but from from my position on the pitch, I could hear uh, I, I, I could hear his Achilles pop, and of course, all my attention just gets focused on Adib, um, and uh, that's why I got kind of distracted, and that's why they almost scored. I mean, we were calling for injury to the ref, but the ref didn't really give a shit. So, um, so this next one, just to set this up, uh, this is a team that we we played last season a number of times. And they killed us every time. And even one game we were close and they just kind of turned it on and um, and still destroyed us. So this is the game from last night. And uh, this is a little bit longer set of clips here. That's probably twice the length of any of the other ones. Um, and the reason why I got it is because there's a number of goals, uh, a couple saves, and some dirty play. And it just, you know, it felt good to beat these guys. So uh, here we go. <clears throat> So you see now I get uh, now I get uh, oh yeah that's the thing there's there's other games beside us so sometimes the ball comes into play and it yeah it's real fun so this other thing is um, my mobility is getting better uh, my anticipation reactions and stuff uh, just getting across the pitch getting across the box Bef like a lot of times I used to um, struggle with movement but getting quicker now also the other thing too is remember my hand is kind of messed up. And that's why I didn't reach for that shot. Um, I think it seemed kind of like gesturing to my hand at that point. My, my team knows my hand's messed up. I had trouble putting my glove on. I like taped my hand all up. Um, but that's why I, I couldn't do anything other than try and go for that with my leg and just only had a piece of it and the scored. So so they went 1-0. Um, again, that's just sort of like some mobility stuff. Being able to, you know, move across the pitch. 
Um, then here's maybe a little bit of distribution about how better my goal kicking is getting. So, you know, I'm not my, my form is getting better. I'm not putting it off the toe as much as I used to. Now I'm starting to get more up into like the the base of the foot. Oh okay, yeah, this is uh, our goal. One of our first goals, and uh, just like a little give and go situation. Shane back to Ramel, and Ramel tucks it home. Ramel has uh, six goals in four games already. So the uh, he he's good. He's he's a good player. Um, pump this up. Now this fucker, he just elbow right into the back. He didn't even try. He didn't even try for the ball. These guys are getting really dirty, and they were really pissing me off. As you see, I kind of strolled at the pitch. I, the few there's a few more challenges later on, and I get really pissed off with the ref because he's not calling stuff. They eventually get a yellow card. Um, that's another one right there. But yeah, they they eventually got booked for all the dirty shit that was going on. <clears throat> That was a well-worked team goal right there. Um, I think <laughs> I think I missed one of the goals. I think I missed picking up one of the goals. I think that was a that put us up three one right there. This goal is ridiculous. So, so he was on such a sharp angle, and for my positioning, I'm like trying to cover the cross, and he managed to put the ball in behind me. But like he was like almost almost on the goal line, went behind me off the far post, and it was ridiculous. Little unorthodox kick save there. Um, that's that's from the years of hockey. Uh, so I'll use my feet a lot. A little punch. Uh, I managed to get that actually off the bad hand, but again, that was one that kind of came. It kind of came straight at my hand, and I was able to put my hand into it. Um, I'm slowly getting more confident with my punching. This one right here. That girl, she weighs like 80 pounds, and I saw her just the last second when I was about to punch the ball. And I was terrified I was going to run over. I even kind of gave her shit for Like, don't be there. I don't want to hurt you. Um, that one, it just, it took a touch off my defender and then it came on on my right side. And it just, it, I wasn't going to be able to, I wasn't going to be able to stretch for it just because of my hand. Um, this, again, this is just more distribution stuff. Um, I think, yeah, so that's like the furthest and highest ball I've ever put um, in a game. So, my, yeah, my... My, my form and my uh, striking is getting a lot better at the ball, um, which makes me makes me happy to be able to be able to say that. Um, again, just uh, anticipation of movement, uh, getting better at that. My awareness, uh, but then my my throw is bad because you know I'm trying to throw the ball with my right hand, and I should know better that um, I can't throw the ball with my right hand right now. So that right there, that put us up 4-3. Um, super big goal. Then I knew the onslaught was going to come. They're going to come at us hard because these guys always beat us. Right there, I just, I really sloppy, but I just had to get down and beat him to it. And I was going down with my bad hand, so I just kind of knocked the ball away. Because um, I, I, I tried to trap it when my hand hit it, and it just that was in pain. That was, uh, I've got beat on a number of those in the past where the, the ball was just, they, they managed to get in between my legs. So I'm working on trying to keep my legs together. Um, and then right there, <laughs> uh, I didn't call for it. So, you know, all credit to Shane for uh, for knocking that out for me. And then he flubs that one. And this is like the last, last chance of the game for them. I just got... Just a nick of that off my hand and uh, off the crossbar. So, you know, if it wasn't for me, if it wasn't for me and letting in three goals, and if I didn't stop that goal, we would have uh, would have tied 4-4 probably. But, uh, yeah, it was a great team game. Um, so I hope you enjoyed some of the, uh, some of the footage. Um, I might, uh, well, not might, but I'm going to do more stuff with game footage. Uh, as I go forward um, and then once I move to uh, to Kitchener I'm going to have to start like a new start joining a new league and uh, probably in the winter I'll start doing indoor I don't know if I can do if I can record indoor but we'll see but uh, yeah I got a few more weeks left of this league and then um, and then that'll be it and uh, yeah 
anyway i hope you enjoyed it um again leave comments in the the comment thing below uh you know you can always um uh, message me on instagram as well follow me on the gram um and you know if that uh, patreon thing uh, interests you at all you know um there's uh, the link in the uh, description below and also my instagram it'll take you to the patreon page um i've said a lot of ums today and i think it's time to wrap this up and i just want to thank you for uh, for joining me all right take care <laughs>